As you look around the internet and talk to other artists, you've probably come across the term study, which is used regarding painting. Now you might have been confused about what exactly this means, because there's a lot of different opinions out there. Now the truth is that studies are just a tool for improving your technique, and so it's going to vary incredibly from artist to artist. So in this case, I just did some value studies, just worried about black and white rendering, because the values in my paintings weren't very good at that time. In this case, studies are best used to attack your weaknesses. When you find some aspect of your technique that's just lagging behind, it's time to think of a study that would force you to address only this issue. You know, it could be something as specific as, I've been drawing a lot of knights lately and their horses seem wrong somehow. So at this point, my task would be to design some sort of exercise that would get at the heart of this problem, and then to solve it through repetition. So I guess in this case, I would start with some photos of horses. And since I'm worrying about proportion, I'm not going to think about detail or color or anything like that. I'm just going to take one of the horses, and I'll trace its major masses. And as I do this, it's important to carefully think about what's the distance between the back legs and the front legs. Thinking about drawing through the form as if you're envisioning it like a transparent shape. So this way you're learning something and not simply copying. And if in this case proportions are what I'm going after, it really doesn't need to be detailed at all. I'm trying just to get the the relationships between the different shapes in the body. You know, a circle with a cone on the end could be enough to represent the head. And I'm already giving a bit of a bad example here because this is really best done very slowly. Now in this case my video is supposed to be pretty short, so I'm not going to take the time I normally would for a personal study. But the idea is to learn something, not to come up with a bunch of drawings. So once I've gotten the one traced, it's time to test myself and really lock it in my memory. And I found that I learn best by drawing the same thing multiple times. So I'll hide the photo and look just at the line drawing. And this makes it more simple for me. I'm not distracted by the colors and the lighting and the details. So I'll draw it again. This time looking at my basic tracing as a starting point. and I'll focus on drawing it. Again, I'd be doing this much more slowly if I were truly doing a study for myself. And the best part about these drawings is that they don't need to be finished. In fact, you don't need to show them to anyone except for yourself. And this can be a big relief because you're working with subject matter that's inherently troubling for you, and that's why you're doing it. So don't worry about these looking great. They're not going to look great. But if you don't do them and work on your problem spots in isolation, you'll avoid them forever and you won't progress. There's something about repetition that gives us a visual library. And you can't really put a shortcut on this. If you've got a problem in your drawing, you just got to work through it with a study. Now this idea of self-improvement and self-education is a subject that I care a lot about. It's one of the reasons I made this site to begin with. So you'll find that I'm periodically releasing videos that deal with personal studies that I like to do, and hopefully they'll give you some ideas for studies that you can do to work on your own trouble spots.